Hi everyone, it's your friendly fire kid here, and we've got a update to talk about today. We've got it's called the Origins Two update, and uh, what it means is we're going to be getting some new season missions based on season two and three. So look out for those each week, and hopefully um, a new challenge set out of them at the end as well. So that'd be good. Um, I'm just going to go through some of the main things in the update. Uh, so we've got two new heroes, a new trait, a new support, and a new weapon. So uh, full of uh, new fun things to try, and um, I'll try and explain what they are, how I plan on using them, and if I think they're any good or not. So let's get on with it. Uh, first thing we're going to talk about is Herschel Green. Um, his leader trait is called Good Enough. And what he does is he gives you a chance to cripple and a chance to weaken on any non-lethal attack. So as long as you don't kill it, you've got a chance of this happening. And if you don't kill it, you also get a chance to move. Um, so that's the same as Alpha's leader trait and Rosita's leader trait. So basically a half action point after um, attacking, which is really good. So his leader trait works for any hero that's with him uh, be it melee or ranged uh, so he's going to be a good all-rounder and he can cause status effects so that's always a good thing with uh, when you've got princess in the team but the main thing is this new weakened trait um, or weakened status effect uh, him being able to inflict that it's going to really help if you've got any melee in your team. I'll get on to Weaken in a minute. Um, but what I want to talk about now is the fact he can cause Cripple. And that the way the leader trait's written makes it sound like you can get cri Cripple them when it's not a body shot. Although it does stack with other people with Cripple when it's a non-body shot. But it also means that you can cripple with your melee characters which are in the team when he's leading so that's a nice little twist as well but uh, as I say the, the main thing is the new weakened trait on him and uh, let's have a look at him in action first got to say that all the videos are taken from uh, NG's development build so um, that's why the numbers are so low and um, they're not my characters or anything like that so uh, so what we can see here is the uh, Herschel shooting through walkers, causing cripple. Um, you can see Carl there causing the new uh, weakening status effect, which is like a red vortex around the walker. Uh, on this one, we'll get uh, be able to see that Beta attacks and gets a critical hit. Maybe not might have got it anyway, but what you definitely won't get is a body shot, which I'll go on to in a minute. Um, the fact that you can't get body shots uh, on weakening, um, weakened walkers, means I think that Herschel is going to be really good leading two bruisers, especially if one of the bruisers also has weakening, as it does stack. Uh, but I'll get into that in more in a, dis in a minute. What you just saw happen there was the walker, uh, beater, attacked the walker, got a charge point and was able to move away. So that really shows the vers versatility of having... Uh, Herschel as leader with Mealy. Um, he's going to be really good, I think. Uh, well worth the uh, distance resets, in my opinion. But obviously you'll have to uh, make that decision yourself. To help you with that decision, let's look at the weakening trait. So when this is available on all Mealy characters, um, and it gives you a chance to... Uh, cause the weakening status effect on a walker and um, weakened walkers <laughs> um, they cannot receive body shots so you'll always do a normal hit or a critical hit um, and you will always uh, you'll also get a chance to gain a charge point now the interesting thing is the chance to gain a charge point is ridiculously high it's at 75 percent um, and all you need is 34% luck for that to be a 100% chance of gaining a charge point on a weakened enemy. When you look at the percentage chance to weaken, 
uh, it pretty much mirrors uh, Perseverance uh, in the chances of it happening. So if you've got 34% luck, um, then you have the same chance to weaken and gain a charge point as you would with Perseverance, except you're also uh, causing this status effect, which means that any other hero or any other melee survivor will also get a chance to gain a charge point whenever they hit the weakened walker. So, yeah, I think it's going to be really, really good to have on some heroes. There may be somewhere you want to keep Perseverance. There may be somewhere you want both, uh, Weakening and Perseverance. Um, I'm thinking on uh, Bruisers in particular. You might want both. Um, but I can see being charged um, most times, especially if you're going to hit more than one walker at a time. Um and as I was saying before, with Hershen and Need, you're going to be able to run in, hit, possibly charge, run away. Um, so that's going to be really good. Um, you can obviously obviously do that with Rosita as well. But um, with Herschel, your chance to weaken is stacks. Um, and when they're both relatively high level, you're going to be 100% chance to both weaken and charge on every hit. So they really do want you to use them together. Um, and I think it will work. Um, I really like it. I'm really looking forward to trying it out. Um, the people I'm going to be putting it on are Huntsman Daryl, Ezekiel, Riker, Glenn and T-Dog to start with. Just going to see how it goes on them. Uh, with the Bruisers, I'm going to be taking off Dodge. With the other two, I'll be taking off Perseverance. I've got a couple of videos coming up which show it in action, but they're not the greatest videos to show it off. So I'll try and do some of this challenge. Um, I'm hoping to get weakening on uh, Zeke um, and T-Dog soon. I got it on the Hunt Huntsman Darrow already, but I ran out of re-rolls trying to get it on the others. Um, but yeah, it's just similar to what you saw in the uh, Herschel video. The red vortex showing that they are weakened. And those guaranteeing to not be a body shot. So that does mean guaranteed stun if it's a stunnable walker. So if you can weaken a level 54 walker, um, go in with a bruiser after, you're guaranteed to stun it. So super excited for uh, that. And I'm also really looking forward to Tyrese Williams. We've got a new uh, warrior coming out. And he uh, going to do some big damage. If you can get the setup right, and he's going to slow him right down as well. He creates this debuff circle like Beth used to, and uh, any enemies in that circle will receive damage, which is a percentage of their total health, not their remaining health like Beth um, and Mercer, but their total health. So it's a set amount that they'll um, lose, just like in Fire. And they will also only move one space at a time whilst they're in the circle. So it's a bit complicated, his little table. But if he's leader, you can have four circles on the board at any one time. Um, uh, if he's not a leader, you can only have two. Um, and they will last for four turns. And then you'll have to recreate new ones. Um, the amount it takes off is not too bad but when you get to level seven and eight eight in particular you're looking at a lot of damage coming off these walkers uh, particularly if you can get them on fire at the same time uh, so obviously you would add 10 percent onto that figure um, and if you do that when it's at level eight you're looking at 25 percent of their health every turn and if you can keep them in the circle for at least four turns either by rooting stunning it or uh, even making it walk up and backwards and forwards if you're running past it um it will get down to one health even if you don't hit it i say one health because the debuff circles will never kill a walker uh, you will always have to make the final hit uh, which isn't too bad, to be honest. 
You'll also notice that his uh, traits he comes with, strong follow-through, ruthless perseverance, they seem to be gearing him up for uh, an offensive build. And to be honest, I think I might go that way with him. Um, I can't see any reason why you wouldn't want to have him as offensive. I uh, know he's going to do some damage, but he's going to have to get charged first. Um, I'll probably take follow-through off the uh, weakening now. Um, just to help him get those charge points, because you're going to need them to use his leader trait. As you can see from these videos, um, using charge attack, there's the uh, the circular buff area, um, which I think looks pretty good. It doesn't look too bad. Um, and you can see the walker circle underneath glows when they're in the area. Um, and let's see it move one space. So if you could get two of those buff areas next to each other in that spot, you have run to really slow those walkers down as they come to you. You can use them as they look a bit like uh, you could like a whirlpool of sand. Um, you could like sinking sand, so you can really could use them. Could use his leader trait really tactically to uh, slow a horde. Um, also notice there that that walker walked one space into it, and because they can only move one space when they're in a circle, it stopped, um, and it will move one space again until it's out of the circle. The last couple of things I want to talk about is a new support that they're bringing out, which is Walker Mike, uh, based on the uh, Michonne's to Zombie Friends. Um, if when you activate this, you will not be noticed by any of the walkers, so it's similar to Gore, except you will still be able to attack um, and move the full range when Walker Mike is activated. And at level 2, you'll also be able to have an ally um, protected by it as well. Um, and this will last <coughs> until the end of the walker's turn. So it uh, should actually be really useful. Looking forward to getting it, uh, sp particularly at level 2. We're also getting a Michonne upgrade. Um, so her leader trait values are being significantly increased. And um, you're looking at level sort of set eight you're looking at sort of 90 percent chance <coughs> of um her leader trait activating when you've got uh double luck so that's a, a really good boost for her um and also we'll be getting a new skin for michonne which is her hooded jacket uh which looks pretty cool actually but you're only going to be able to get that on the premium track of the next season pass so you do have to pay for it unfortunately Lastly, I just want to talk about some bug fixes and other improvements they've made. Um, the main one um, I'm most excited about is that Perseverance has been fixed for Warriors using a Morningstar. Although, with Weakening now, I'm not sure that's such a problem as it was. Um, but until you can get Weakening on them, then uh, Perseverance is fixed, so that's great. Uh, there's also a fix for the uh, daily quests, where there's some of the... Caesar missions of Origin 1 weren't counting towards the hero's um, kill count or um, missions played. And also we've got uh, Guardian Carol missions are now going to count towards Carol daily quests. Some other improvements. Uh, Expert Last Stand, uh, for those who play it, has now got a 35 times score multiplier rather than just 5 times. So that should mean that you should be able to compete for the top of the leaderboards now. So that's a, that's a nice little change. Um, and another one which is absolutely amazing is that Overwatch attacks will no longer target herded walkers. So no more breaking herd by accident where you didn't want to. So get your primed on and um, feel safe that you are going to hopefully cripple something that you've not herded. Um, there is a lot more bugs and other improvements on the update notes, and the link to that is in the description below. So be sure to check those out, um, as there's a few other bits I haven't mentioned, such as new scavenge maps, um, and it gives you all the information on how the uh, campaign works and more information on the uh, leader traits, etc. So thanks very much for watching.
I hope you found it useful. And if you've got any questions or comments about the update, let me know what you think in the comments section below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.